Hey guys, what's going on? Gassy Mexican here, and this is a much needed update video with a lot of stuff to talk about. I haven't done one of these in a while, but um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me tweet that I'm going to make this update video with uh, just mentioning some stuff, some changes with the channel, and just things that I'm going to be doing here in the next uh, few months or so and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get into my... I have a whole list here uh, because I'm really bad at remembering stuff off the fly and then I just babble. Look, it's happening right now. All right, let's just get right into it, okay? First, let's talk about changes with the channel and what you guys should expect. Some of you guys have noticed that I haven't been posting as many videos per day as I have in the past, and there's a very good reason for that. It has been deliberate. Um, I'm going to be switching over to one video a day. I'm gonna put out a minimum of one video a day. Up till now, it's been three videos a day, and now it's going to be one video a day, but the distinction and the difference is going to be, they're going to be much more um, better quality videos, better produced, better edited, you know, different, a lot more time and detail and attention uh, to uh, how the video is. I'm just going to make them a lot better quality videos. And I should say too that that is the minimum that I'll put up. So you'll still have days where I upload like one or two or or one or you know, up to three or something like that. I typically don't upload any for any more than three videos a day as it as it's been anyways. But um, the, 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 the distinction that you should know is that you will get one video every day from me. That is the absolute bare minimum and guarantee that you will get, you know, barring any sort of like, oh, I'm sick, I can't, you know, record or play games, or, uh, you know, something happened that I have to take care of that I let you guys know on Twitter anyways. Uh, by the way, follow me if you're not following me, twitter.com slash Mexican. And I'm gonna further let you guys know why I'm switching over to um, one video a day. Basically what it comes down to is time and effort. Um, one, I don't have enough time anymore to do three videos a day. Uh, there's all these different things that I want to do and, you know, different projects and things that I'd love to put more effort and time into, but I can't because I'm, I've been, you know, stuck in this kind of mold of doing three videos a day and it's been kind of burning me out. You know, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. Um, that's not just, you know, me playing the video game and talking and commentating and stuff like that. There's a lot of, uh, you know, having to go through all these videos, cut them up, um, make sure that they're rendered out, thumbnails for them, description for them. And that doesn't sound like a whole lot of work when you're talking about just like one video and one instance of doing it, but it adds up when you're doing three videos every single day, in addition to trying to do live streams, have a normal social life, you know, have time to hang out with my girlfriend Renee, give my dog Malcolm for a walk, you know, stuff like that. Just everyday normal, have a life and still work. Um, and doing three videos a day um, as as the expectation for each day is just, it's been very hard and it's been burning me out. So I wanna have more time to still put into my videos and make them the best possible videos they can be. And I haven't been able to do that because if I try to make every single video, three videos a day, um, super edited and not super edited, but you know what I mean, edited down so that way there's no like, you know, fluff and, and no commentating and it's just the good stuff and put more time into some effects and stuff like that and just, you know, fun little things that you do when you edit. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have no no social life. I have I wouldn't have enough time in the day because it does take a long time to scrub through you know footage and, and edit and stuff like that um, for, for when you are trying to put out a video that's edited and more polished and, and better put together in my opinion. Um, and I don't want to say that the stuff that I've put out thus far is crap because I don't think it is. It's just been put out in a different format in a different way, you know what I mean? And I feel like um, I know there's people out there that don't like editing and stuff like that and whatever that's your prerogative, but um, I would like to, to extend you guys to at least give it a chance because every single person edits uh, in a different way. Um, I edit in my own particular way and I no one edits just like me and that's always going to be ever evolving. Like the way I edit will get better and better. Um, I just miss having that creative satisfaction when I put up a video. I still love what I do, let me say that, let me preface what I'm saying by saying I love what I do and I'm immensely grateful for what I do and, and the ability to do what I do for a living. But also, that shouldn't that shouldn't stop me from from wanting to make my content better and create and cr satisfy that creative drive that I used to have when I did Machinima, not the company Machinima, um, making videos in in in, uh, in video games, like making like little movies and stuff like that that actually were like cut up and produced and edited and shot different ways and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's kind of what has been missing from from me doing YouTube. I used to love being able to do that and satisfy that, you know, creative need. Um, so that's what I want to do. I want to have the absolute best quality videos that I possibly can for you guys. And that's led to my decision to, um, 
to do one video a day. And like I said, there's certain games and series that'll still be going like Don't Starve, that stuff like that where it doesn't fit, you know, it because at the end of the day, the content is king. If I'm recording a game that doesn't fit the typical way that I'll be editing now in the future, you know, I'll, I'll upload it as is, um, such as Don't Starve. You can't really cut that down because there's a lot of stuff that leads up to certain things and stuff. So, and, and that's easy for me to cut up because I just do it all in one thing and then I'll render it all out and upload it, you know, in parts. Um, so that kind of stuff will still be on the channel and you'll still see it. And like I said, not every single video I put up will be completely edited, but the majority of them will. That, that one video a day that is uh, the expectation and the minimum that I'll be putting up every single day will be edited down and, and cut up. And, and I think it's going to be good for the channel. I think it's going to be good for me. Um, I'll be able to do more live streams. I'll be able to do more special projects and stuff like that. And it will help me be happier about the work that I put out. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. One video a day going forward. Um, lots more live streams because I'll have more free time to do that and also a happier Max, a happier Cassie Mexican. I haven't been like super depressed or anything like that, let me tell you that. Um, you know, we all have our highs and our lows, but um, it's been something that I've been needing to do for a long while, so that's what's going on. Um, I know some people are gonna be, you know, upset about it and probably very loud in the comments. You know, at the end of the day, this is my channel. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I think is gonna keep me happy um, and what I think is best for the channel, as I always have done. Um, and I know the majority of you guys out there are going to be supportive and amazing because you guys are an amazing community and you understand, you know, the babbling, the <laughs> if, if what I've said has made sense, you uh, you get that that it's something that I need to do and you'll you'll be supportive. And I appreciate that so much. I really do. Um, but yeah, that wraps up the first point. We still have other stuff to talk about and let's get to it. Second thing is I'm going to Sweden in pretty much uh, what, like 42 hours, two days from now. One day from now, I don't know, a little over one day, a little over 24 hours. Um, on Monday, not Monday, uh, Tuesday, the 10th, this 10th, um, from February 10th to the uh, the 15th, I will be in Sweden, in Stockholm, Sweden, to, uh, to be precise. And I'm super excited about that because I've never been in that part of the world. I've never been in Europe. I've never crossed the Atlantic and stuff like that. I've only been to like, I mean, I've been out of the country to places like Puerto Rico and Mexico and like St. Thomas and the Bahamas, and that's all mainly, mainly been because of just going on like cruises with my family and stuff like that, but I've never traveled to Europe, to that far, you know, that other part of the world, but uh, no, there's there's so much more out there and I want to travel more, I wanted, I wanted for a really long time to go, it doesn't matter where either, I just wanted to go somewhere in Europe, and that's happening. Myself, Renee, um, Eat My Diction, and Zero Viking are gonna be at um, Paradox Con. It's uh, this thing run by Paradox Interactive. Some of you guys might know them. They're a big publisher for things like Magicka. Uh, they have Pillars of Eternity coming out, and a bunch of other. They have they have so much uh, Europa Universalis, and a bunch of, bunch of games that I can't even remember, and new ones that are coming out. So we're gonna go out there. They do a kind of mini convention for influencers and YouTubers and press. Um, and show you know the games that they have, share their plans for the future, get feedback from us. It's really cool, and uh, we're very happy to be invited and a part of it. Um, so we're gonna go there. It's kind of like a work slash uh, vacation trip. So it's a little bit of business, a little bit of um, vacation as well, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. But since I'm going to be in Sweden, I will have videos going up for you, like I said, one a day, every single day while I'm gone. Um, I'm also planning on doing a meetup. Uh, what I like to do whenever I'm in a new place, a new city, a new you know country at this point, new part of the world, um, I love doing meetups because we have fans from all over the world. And I know that there's people in Sweden that watch our stuff because I've seen you guys comment. I've seen you in my live stream say, hey, I'm from Sweden, nice to see you, you know, and stuff like that. So I wanna do a meetup. And um, between those dates, February 10th to the 15th, probably somewhere in the middle there, we don't know exactly when or where we're gonna do it because we can't really decide that until we're actually there. We know our schedule and so on and so forth. We'll tweet out when we're gonna do a meetup and where and when it's gonna happen. Somewhere in Stockholm, as that's where um, we'll be, we'll be in Stockholm, that's where Paradox Interactive is based. Um, we're gonna do a meetup. So if you're in the area or you're in Europe, not too far away from Sweden, and you think you might be able to make it there, we're gonna try to let you guys know as early as we can um, when we're gonna do it, but it's mainly gonna be geared towards people that are in Sweden in, or in uh, you know Stockholm. Oh, pardon me, I'm burping. In Stockholm or you know near the area. Um, so we're gonna try to figure out our schedule and and I believe we will get hopefully at least like two to three hours to uh, do a meetup because I really, really wanna do that and that's important to me. So that's, that's what's going on. I'll be out of town for a bit. I come back on February 15th 
And yeah, that's that's item number two. Third thing I wanted to talk about is that I have passed 400k followers, 400,000 followers on um, on Twitch, and it's been ever growing. I think it's now around. Hold on, I'm gonna cheat for a second. I cheated and I looked for a second. I brought up my streaming page, but we are now at around like 425,000 followers on Twitch, which is crazy because we just broke recently um, 400,000 followers. And I've been trying to stream more for you guys. And again, just to go back to the earlier point of the video, um, that's a big part of the reason why I do want to give myself more time um, is I want to be able to do live streaming more. I really enjoy live streaming. I think it's a very unique way of interacting with you guys. It's, it's live. Um, you know, I just do my thing. I hit the streaming button and I go and I do my thing and then when I'm done, I'm done. And, and to me, that's amazing. That's so cool that I can do that and you guys can be right there interacting with me. I'll field your questions and I see you guys. It's, I've always been obsessed with live streaming. That's why I've been doing it for so long. Before Twitch was even a thing, I used to stream on Ustream and Justin.tv then and then Twitch, you know, eventually. But anyways, besides the point, um, we're past 400,000 uh, followers, and that means I'm going to be doing a 12-hour live stream to give you guys thanks. Um, when I come back from Sweden sometime, I'll pick a date. I'm going to do a 12-hour long live stream. Um, probably have Renee join me as well because, you know, whenever she does a 12-hour live stream, I just join her because I like to be on the same schedule as her um, and vice versa. So uh, I'll be doing a 12-hour live stream uh, as a way of saying thank you for getting me over 400,000 followers. We're on our way now to 500K, and I'm really excited, and thank you guys so much. Um, not even just for Twitch, you know, support, just support in general from you guys. Um, I think we're at like 1.3 million subscribers now, 1 million 300 and something thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. Um, you guys support never ceases to amaze me and, you know, make me feel humbled for what I'm able to do as a job. I love doing this. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing a 12 hour live stream. Uh, eventually, probably fairly shortly coming back after Sweden. I'll, I'll make another video announcing it when it does happen. But I wanted to, you know, touch on that and let you guys know that I appreciate your your unending support and we'll do that live stream for you. Fourth and final thing of this video that I wanted to discuss with you guys is that I will be going to PAX East. Myself and Renee will be going to PAX East. I think pretty much everybody's going to PAX East. I know Nick's going. Um, I don't know if Z's going. He might be. Speaking of people that are going to Sweden. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to PAX East. We we got our, our tickets, we got our media badges, um, and we've, you know, booked and done all that stuff. We weren't going to go. We kind of said on Twitter, if you guys follow a little bit, um, I've been saying that, you know, I don't really know if I'm going to go to East, um, but we decided that we're going to. We caved into a, the peer pressure of our friends, our fellow streamers and YouTubers and just awesome people. Um, and we're going. So if you guys are going to PAX East 2015 in Boston, we will be there. Um, I'll be there and uh, excited to meet you guys. Boston, I think, is probably the one I've been to the most, the PAX East. Um, and and yeah, so that's that's the last thing of this video. This has just been a big update video of a bunch of different stuff. Um, but I, I haven't done a video in a while. And there's a bunch of things that I, I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of and make, you know, Make sure that you guys are updated on. Um, so yeah, hopefully my random babbling has been okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the greatest when it comes to making update videos, but I try to cut it down, you know, and and make sure that my my babbling is somewhat coherent and you guys can understand. But um, I'm excited for the future. I'm really really happy um, to to uh, be doing what I do for you guys. That hasn't changed. All that's changing is the different way that I'm doing it. I want to free up, you know, my time to do other awesome projects, um, make sure that I'm not, you know, overexerting myself and do, putting too much work on my shoulders, and while all the while still maintaining quality and stuff like that. I don't know why I did that. It looked like I was being very inappropriate and like groping. But um, <laughs> like I said, not so great at update videos. Anyways, that's what's going on. Sweden, one video a day. Um, one video a day minimum, I should say. You know, you'll have other videos and stuff like that. It won't always just be one video. Um, what was the third thing? 400k, 400k followers on Twitch. Thank you guys so much. 12 hour live stream as a result. And then going to PAX East. That's like the too long didn't read. If you skipped to the, this part of the video, you just got everything. But you didn't really get the explanation for all that. All right, I'm gonna stop babbling. Um, and I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys are having a great day. You're looking amazing. Yeah, you. Yes. Is that a new hat? Sorry. I know. Uh, well, maybe somebody out there is like, ah, oh, you noticed. But anyways, that wraps up this video. I'm done babbling, and I'm going to bid you guys a good day. You guys stay sexy, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys? Take it easy. Bye-bye.